Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In this video, let's go ahead and let's create a JP entity. Right click on model package, new and then choose class. Let's give a entity name as employee. Alright, let's quickly define the instance variables. Private long id private string first name private string last name and private string email id alright let's quickly create get the setter methods to access these private fields And also create a parameterized constructor right click source generate constructor using fields deselect ID and hit generate and let's also create a default constructor so remember whenever you create a parameterized constructor you have to create a default constructor because hibernate internally uses proxies to create uh, you know proxy objects all right once we have created employee class now let's go ahead and let's use jp annotations to map uh, you know uh, this model to the relational database table let's go ahead and let's use at the rate entity annotation and let's also use at the rate table annotation to provide a table name let's give table name as employees all right let's define a primary key for our table let's use add id annotation and also let's use a generation primary key generation strategy for that let's use add generator value annotation and it has a property called strategy and let's use generation type as identity and let's use add thread column annotation to provide a column name to the field here basically we map a column name to the field and we can also give a column name over here let's use a name attribute to provide a column name let's say first underscore name and let's copy this and let's similarly give a column name to the last name last underscore name and also give column name to the email id email underscore id that's it guys that is pretty much uh, we have created employee jp entity now what we'll do we'll create a, a repository interface right click on repository package new and then choose interface here let's give a repository name as employee a repository great now what we'll do we'll extend this interface from jpa repository so jpa repository basically exposes database code methods like save find by id find all delete by id delete okay it exposes a lot of methods and it provides out of the box implementation for all the database methods so we don't need to write any boilerplate code that is required to you know develop the DAO layer let's pass employee jp entity and here the type of the primary key let's annotate this interface with at the rate repository annotation all right so look at here jp repository provides a lot of methods like find all and also it provides a sorting support okay and uh, also provides uh, pagination so look at here it internally extends paging and sorting repository paging and sorting repository interface provides support for sorting and pagination and paging and sorting repository extends crude repository so crude repository interface exposes all the crude methods for an entity 
okay for example save save all find by id exist by id okay so jpa repository internally exchanges all these interfaces so we can leverage all these methods we no need to create uh, methods over here okay great thank you guys for watching feel free to subscribe my youtube channel i will see you guys in the next video